Okay, so um, I had this question a few weeks ago asking me how do I, you know, how to uh, how to capture like gameplay footage, um, like recording video games and stuff. Uh, on Windows, of course, you have Fraps, and Fraps works very, very well. And uh, on Linux, there's multiple ways of capturing your desktop. But you know, with gameplay, you kind of want to capture like you know the frame rate. You know, what I mean, like a nice smooth motion with audio and stuff like that. You don't want it to be all laggy and and, uh, and weird looking. So with Linux, that's kind of a tricky, tricky thing to do, really. Um, it really depends on the method that you're using to capture and also the desktop environment that you're using. Um, at the moment, I don't really recommend using Unity 2D. I'm sorry, not 2D, 3D with Compiz. Um, basically, you know, with full screen gameplay at the moment, especially with NVIDIA cards, it's kind of slow and there's a performance hit because of Compiz. There's some bugs. Um, you're better off just logging into Unity 2D or perhaps uh, the uh, the GNOME Classic session without Compiz, right? Just the the Meta City. Um, that works very very well. You'll 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 uh, notice a huge uh, performance uh, performance gains, I guess. But anyways, um, if you're not gonna be like talking or anything anything like that, you just want to record the actual gameplay and the gameplay audio, and you have like a per peripheral plugged in, like a like a microphone or a webcam. You want to make sure that you're actually recording your your speakers and not your you know your uh, webcam or or microphone or whatever. Um, to make sure about that, just install the uh, Pulse Audio Volume Control. And right here, you have, see how it says that? Like right now, I'm talking through my webcam. You know, I just that's what I use to record. Um, so when you're playing a game, right, you start the game where it says recording. Click here and click right here where it says monitor of built in audio, analog, stereo, what do you call it? Um, click on that and you should be able to pick up your, your video game audio, right? So anyways, so when it comes to GTK record my desktop for capturing gameplay footage, there's a couple little things that I do. Um, it's not too hard. Basically, in a nutshell, I guess, uh, when you're recording, um, GTK uses your, your root directory as a temp folder, right? There's a temp folder in there and whatever. Um, if your screen is like fairly large, right, <clears throat> like HD display, and you're capturing all that real estate, that temp folder is going to be gone, you know, right away because you're capturing a lot of uh, pixels and whatever. Um, the file can go from anywhere from 500 megabytes to like 50 gigabytes, right? So I do recommend that you change your temp folder to something else, right? So my temp folder was originally in my root directory, so I changed it to my home folder, you know, my my whatever. I made a, a dedicated folder called uh, REC for record, and it's in here. Here's my session, and you see how big it is already. So right now I'm at 109 megabytes, but when you're actually recording gameplay and there's a lot of motion going along. Um, that's gonna grow. It'll, it'll be anywhere from between, like you know, like I said, like a couple hundred megs to 20 or 30 gigabytes. So that's kind of important that you uh, move it out of your root directory if your root directory is small. And also, uh, performance, I bump it all the way up to 50 uh, frames a second. Sound, I put at two channels. Uh, miscellaneous, I put at. I uncheck the outline, whatever capture area. And I believe I have this uh, checked to uncheck. I mean, so anyways, let's go ahead and start a game. We'll use uh, Edge as an example. Right now, I'm using the Unity 3D session with uh, Compiz, of course. I'm going to record this video in full screen. Then I'm going to log out and log into Unity 2D, and maybe you might see a difference in performance. You know what I mean? Continue. I don't know, I can already see like it kind of like the frame rates already kind of dropped. Alright. So hopefully all this is capturing and I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Then I'm going to log into Unity 2D and you might see a difference. Main menu, come on.
Oops, need to close. We had a crash. That's uh, my uh, email client. Anyways, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm logged into Unity 2D. And we're going to be using the same game again as an example. Um, here we go. So right away, I notice a difference. It's, it's, it looks a lot smoother already. Um, it's the same environment, just minus the comp is, same resolution as well. Um, there we go. So hopefully I, you guys can kind of get the idea of what it looks like or the difference in uh, frame rate. But anyways, um, if you're like a GNOME Shell user, um, I believe, what's it use? I think uh, Mutter or Clutter or whatever it's called. Um, there isn't much of a performance hit when you play games on that on Shell. Um, a little bit, but not really much of anything. Not as bad as Comp is, though. But anyways, I think you guys get the idea. So what I'm going to do next is uh, switch uh, screencasters. I'm going to stop using GTK and I'm going to go to uh, Kazam, which is in the repos as well. I, I think Kazam is a lot easier to use. But you're going to see a difference between GTK and its quality and Kazam's quality when it comes to full screen gameplay uh, recording. So anyways, I'll be back in a momentarily, I guess. So now I'm using Kazam, right? Kazam, um, by far to me, like it's the easiest one to set up and use. has a lot of options, you know what I mean? Like, like, uh, like as soon as you get it started, it'll, it'll ask you what do you want to record, you know, your microphone or your, your monitor. Um, give you options for some codexes and, um, and frame rate and stuff like that. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. But um, when it comes to like, capturing full screen gameplay, it might not be the best choice, I guess. Let's uh, go ahead and give it a try one more time. So from my perspective here, um, the game looks fine. It, it's running very, very smooth. I don't notice anything different. Um, but what you're seeing will probably look different, of course, if I look like a slideshow or, you know, like three frames a second or something. But here it looks fine. It's about 60 frames a second. Anyways, go ahead and stop it here. Alright, so now I'm using uh, FFmpeg to record, and I'm still using the Unity 2D session. Um, FFmpeg could be the trickiest one to use. Um, right now I'm using Ubuntu 1204, and this uh, code that I'm using uh, seems to only be working on 1204, so it might not work on, you know, um, 1110 or, or 1104 or whatever. Um, generally, when I when I'm using FFmpeg, I just uh, I pretty much have like the Ubuntu restricted extras installed, as well as like FFmpeg and like uh, Kden Live. You know that usually brings all the codexes down. I don't really have to worry about grabbing any miscellaneous uh, uh, codex or whatever. But anyways, just copy and paste this into your terminal, but make sure your resolution is proper. I guess um, this is my resolution, 1680 by 1050. If yours is different, just type that in before you uh, you know you run it. Anyways, same game again as an example. I'll be quick about this one. It won't take too long. Um, overall, FFmpeg is very, very good um, when it comes to your desktop recording and gameplay recording. There is a little bit of a frame loss, but not too much. But when you're done recording, you're done. You can just go ahead and upload to uh, whatever, like uh, wherever you're posting, I guess. And the overall. <clears throat> like video uh, file is not that large either so it's a good overall you know recorder so anyways what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and log back into unity 3d and go over some other miscellaneous stuff and to turn this off just um, you know open up your terminal again right here you know go back to your terminal I mean and just hold control and press C all right, so now I'm back using Unity 3D, and um, you know I went over a couple different ways of recording the desktop. Um, to me personally, I still feel that you know GTK is, is fine for recording you know 3D gameplay or whatever full screen. Um, FFmpeg works fine; it's just it's not as fluid. But for basic everyday screencasting, if you're a screencaster, I guess um, FFmpeg is perfect. Right? Then there's Kazam, and Kazam is is fine, but you know it's not as uh, fluid, I guess. But anyways, um, if you absolutely must use like Unity 3D or Compiz Compositing as you're recording, um, at the moment with uh, 1204, there's a little bit of a performance hit with full screen gameplay. Um, this is for the NVIDIA people, 
uh, like myself who have like the proprietary driver there is a workaround just be careful what you're doing though and there is a bug report too I'll put that in the description down below uh, go down to composite and where it says unredirect uh, full screen windows check that box and when you play your games in full screen you'll, you'll probably notice is a there's a performance increase but when you're done make sure you uncheck it again because if you don't do that and you reboot your machine and you try to log into unity um, it won't log in it'll just uh, it'll hang there for a while then um, just you know hold you know control alt delete and log out then log back in you should be able to get back in just make sure you uh, you know uncheck that so that's one workaround that I found um, hopefully I'll keep an eye on that bug report if there's a, a if they resolve it I'll make a video about it anyways and also um, if you're recording like uh, if you want to record like old school stuff like uh, Sega, Nintendo, uh, MAME, you know, arcade games and stuff like that I've noticed that it works a little bit better on like Intel video chipsets rather than like a proprietary driver they look a little bit smoother you know what I mean and if your computer is a little bit on the older side or not as powerful um, a trick that you could use is uh, before you record is uh, actually lower down your resolution you know what I mean so mine is 1680 by 1050 I would probably roll you know lower it down to another 16 by 10 which would be my my native resolution but it'll be 1440 by 900 or this down here even smaller that will uh, that will be less taxing on your CPU you know your your footage will be a little bit more smoother you know what I mean you want to have the nice you know clear picture but it'll it'll be a lot better you know what I mean smoother at least it won't be as choppy so anyways what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna go ahead and record some more gameplay footage and um, at the on the description down below the, of this video I'll put like a little time card like first video is recorded on you know Intel blah 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 at this resolution using this method which will be like GTK or, or FFmpeg then I'll go to a different game entirely and, and do that as well so you guys can kinda of get the idea of, of what looks right and what looks wrong you know what I mean so anyways uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions just ask see you guys later Into the heat of battle, go for it!